Well, of course, this show has all been about kings and queens, and I've promised you a prince. And here we go with Ashwell Prince in the Super Saturday Taxi. Ashwell, you couldn't miss the opportunity, eh, to wear your Liverpool shirt? Absolutely not. Absolutely <laughs> not. Uh, going a little bit retro there with the old school one, I old see school that. version. Yeah, well, you've got a great history, and we'll talk about that. In fact, why don't we start with that? Because you played for Lancashire for a long time. My first question to you is you must have gone to Anfield plenty times. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, as a, as a kid growing up, I uh, admired Liverpool and, uh, you know, some great players. Uh, back in the day, John Barnes, mm. Peter Beardsley, uh, Ian Rush, those, that's the kind of generation I started watching. Um, and so obviously playing for Lancashire, only about 30 miles away from, from Liverpool. Um, you know, I actually had to, had to make my way to Anfield. I'm sure you did and shouted them home and so forth. But it is a big night on Monday night, isn't it? Because as much as your opposition, for those that don't know, of course, it's uh, at Old Trafford, Manchester United playing Liverpool on Monday night. Uh, United have had a disastrous start, but Liverpool have only uh, drawn two games, so they've got a point to prove. Yeah, they do. Um, played two, two draws, um, not convincing mm. with the performances so far at the start of the season. They are some exciting players, but they are young. We obviously saw Nunes getting sent yeah, off. Yeah, that is crazy. And, uh, you know, that shows the inexperience uh, as well. So it will take time for the young guys to, to settle in. Mm. Well, let's get on to the subject of cricket. And of course, Supersport fans have seen you on in the morning. Wake up and smell the cricket. You must have enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a nice show. There's lots of uh, interaction and banter. Uh, but obviously, we try and do some work as well and <laughs> analyse the cricket. And the T20 World Cup coming up, I think we're looking good there. And this young test team is very exciting. And of course, there's a method in our madness that we got you in the Super Saturday Taxi because it didn't go unnoticed to me that when you played in Lancashire, uh, and you played there for some time, that the one year, I think 2015, you top scored in English county cricket, 1,478 runs at 67 runs per innings average. Now that is a hell of a performance. That was my last season of professional cricket and it came at the, on the back of a lot of experience. Mm. So, you know, the hunger was still there to perform. And so, yeah, I mean, for, for that to happen in my last season, it was a nice way to go out. Um, but, as I said, I mean, it, it, it's 20 years of experience mm. building up and you try and use that to, to the best of your ability when you go out every time. Well, some of our viewers might be watching and say, where is the taxi going? Um, you know where we're going, right? Yeah, so we just start call it drive and we're going down the road um, heading towards the wonders, the boarding. And now I'm going to test your memory because for you, it all started here, your test debut was here at the Wanderers against Australia. Do you remember the year? I really can't forget it because it was 2002. But the reason I can't forget it is because it was all the twos. It was the 22nd of the second, ah. 2002. So that, well, that hopefully you didn't get two runs. <laughs> I didn't get two <laughs> runs. I got a few more at least. You got so many in your career. Um, 11 test centuries. And again, there's so much synergy us talking to you today because one of those test centuries was at Lord's. Um, where this test match is being played. I mean, you must remember that as well, because to, to score a test century at the home of cricket is just incredible. It's an unbelievable feeling just to play a test match at Lords. You know, um, not every um, player gets to do that in their career. And so, yeah, it is an unbelievable feeling when, when you come in there, you look at the honours boards, uh, you see um, some of your South African teammates on the board, uh, some big names in world cricket on the board. And you're just wondering, you know, uh, in the build-up whether your name is going to go on there. Well, there we go. They're telling us, by the way, that's uh, Makai telling us, don't forget his name's up there. <laughs> well, we are at the familiar surroundings now of the Wanderers, so we'll get up and stretch our legs. But before I let you out of the Super Saturday Taxi, thanks very much for your time, Ashwell. Um, but I can't let you go without a prediction for Monday night. I mean, it really is an important game in the context of this season already. But the two sides are not great friends, are they? So No, they're not, and it's, <laughs> it's never a, a friendly encounter. Um, and both teams needing the win to get their seasons kind of kick-started. Um, but obviously, I'm going to have to go for, for a Liverpool win. Uh, I'm going to go 2-1. I don't think it's going to be as big as the gap was last season. Mm. I think it will be a tighter affair, but I'm going 2-1 to Liverpool. Good man. Thanks very much, and all the best, eh? Well, let's hope that the Proteus can seal a victory. Thank you.